it is our first, I want to say our first official day in Japan because we've just been traveling for two days basically. Well, so yeah, it is Tuesday, it's our first official day. I'm all decked out in my snow gear because we're going skiing today. I've never skied in my absolute life. So this is going to be so chaotic. It's also freezing, it's three degrees and it's raining. I'll show you my current view. Is the view at the moment. I'm just sitting on the stairs of our lodge. It is so pretty. Literally in the middle of nowhere. So we walked five kilometers last night to go get food. It cost us so much money. It was like, but it was all we had. Yeah, I'm so excited to take you along my journey. I'm probably gonna do a two part vlog. We're in Hakuba for a week and then we're in Tokyo for a week. So I might split the vlog in half. Um, one week in Hakuba, one week in Tokyo. Hello, it is like a few hours later. I went to go skiing. Ended up changing over to a, a snowboard because truly skiing was the most traumatic experience I've ever had in my life. My feet kept going in separate directions so I'd fall over and then my knees would like snap in half and then my ankles would snap in half and then I would just be like buried in this, oh. I, it ended in tears because I kept hurting myself so bad that I had to walk down the hill. So I went and got a snowboard and it was so much easier. I actually made it down the hill without falling, holding my boyfriend's hand. I really wanted to get some clips and we really wanted to film all of our skiing, but the GoPro just isn't working. She doesn't want to work. So I'm not going to be able to get any footage of me snowboarding because I cannot hold my camera and snowboard at the same time. I can barely stand up. Go down to the grocery store and grab a bunch of food for dinner tonight. And then tomorrow we'll be back at the mountains snowboarding all day. Choked up when I hear it Seems like I keep crying off so much Since a nigga had these kids And I don't know what it is That made me so sensitive More than I already was But never mind that, I'm back I'm sending you this little audio hug And hopes that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above The more that we hurt, the harder we love As soon as it's gone, we gotta re-up It's just like a drug If people knew half of the pressure They know that it's hard to be her I'm sending you Suzanne, Ari, my love Y'all holding us down, y'all holding the crowns You ever need something from me? Don't hesitate, please Just hit me and I'll be around, I'm gone Good afternoon. It is the afternoon. We were out snowboarding from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. It is now 5 o'clock. So we've had a really big day. I'm so exhausted, but we're just heading into town now to go have some dinner. It is freezing. I think it's zero degrees. So I've got a thermal, a long sleeve, this puffy leather jacket jeans and then underneath my jeans I have fleece leggings fluffy socks I just need to stay warm I'm feeling really under the weather I'm feeling quite sick ever since I got here I've just been so under the weather and so sick so I'm trying to stay as warm as possible because obviously after this we go to Tokyo for a week so three more days here and then two more days here and then we're off to Tokyo so I need to be as healthy as possible we're heading into town. I'll take you along. I'll show you what the town looks like. But yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted it to be. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I'm about to start getting ready to head into town, but I just realized I haven't actually given you a room tour yet. So let me show you around. You walk in, we've got the shower. It's just a door, literally just a shower and a bath in its own little room. Then right next to it, we've just got a little sink, a little mirror. And then right across from that, we have the toilet. The toilet seats in Japan are heated as well. It's, it is amazing. This is our room. She's a little bit messy, but we've got beds here, some storage, some more storage, and then just our beds. Like, this is it. It's just one room, it's really all we need. We're in a lodge, so we don't get a fridge or a TV either because it's down in like the common room. So it's like all communal in here, which is fine. There's like probably like three other groups of people staying here. So we all just keep our stuff in the fridge. Like no one's gonna steal anything, it's Japan. 
But the best part about our room is definitely the view. This view is so magical. Like, I will never, ever get over this. Are you actually joking? I feel like I'm in a winter wonderland. A bit foggy, but up there are all, like, the ski mountains that we've been going on. Let's close that. It's three degrees. Thanks so much. I do not have a lot planned today. My boyfriend is out snowboarding all day with a couple of his mates. And my snowboard pass ran out yesterday so i'm just chilling by myself today i'm gonna get ready and then i'm gonna head into town get some lunch just kind of walk around town until he's done got a dinner book tonight and we're gonna get absolutely rowdy to be honest there's not a lot to do in hakobar because we're in the mountains we're literally in the middle of nowhere the closest town is like a 20 minute bus ride so there's not been a lot of content i'm super excited for tokyo because there'll be a lot more to do and a lot more for me to show you Okay, outfit has been picked. It's pretty basic today. I don't really care about looking good in Hakaba, to be honest, because it's just so freezing all the time and all my nicer clothes just they're not warm enough. So I'm gonna keep them for Tokyo. I'm going to bring this red backpack with me. How cute. Primary colours. But yeah, I don't have any plans. I'm literally just going to catch a bus into town and see where we end up. I've come into town and I've just grabbed a bunch of food from the convenience store. It came on so it was like a little pork salad, a sushi roll two drinks and a muffin for under ten dollars thanks so much if you haven't had one of these before you're missing out they sell them in australia as well they're so delicious it's like a milky lemony water insane i also got this banana muffin and not to exaggerate but this is one of the best muffins i've ever had guys the food here is unreal i swear to god i'm not even in tokyo yet like we're not even in the city yet we're out in the mountains and the food here is just still unreal like i've I am so excited for Tokyo. I'm going to be in my absolute element. Japanese food is my favorite cuisine of all time. Somehow ended up in a pharmacy, cosmetics. I don't know, there's so much like homewares, beauty, skincare. This place is insane. I've heard that Japanese skincare is really good, so I want to try and get my hands on some good skincare, but I might wait until we get to Tokyo because the prices in the mountains are a little bit more expensive than in the city so I feel like I might just hold off from buying anything right now. I've been seeing this all over TikTok. I think it's like a vitamin C serum. Apparently it's one of the best. I'm really tempted but vitamin C serum always like breaks me out with crazy acne so oh I've been seeing this brand as well. This brand as well is apparently really good. It's so cheap as well like for hair care like a leave-in conditioner it's like $15. It's like $30 at home. Like this shit, skincare here is so cheap and hair care stuff. Like, oh, I'm going to lose all of my money. Good morning, queens. We are actually leaving Hogba today. I know, you're probably thinking, Keely, you got literally little to no footage. That's because there's not a lot to do here in Hakaba. It is just snowboarding, eating, and sleeping. But we are leaving for Tokyo now. It's currently nine o'clock. Our bus comes to pick us up at 9.30. And then we are up for, I wanna say like a three hours worth of travel, maybe more, maybe less, um, into Tokyo. We're staying in Shinjuku, so, we're catching the bus to the station, bullet train, and then another train into Shinjuku. So I'm so excited. Literally going to Tokyo is a dream come true. I'm so excited. Like, I can't even explain it. So off we go. It is so amazing here. I just want to give you a room tour. As you're walking, we've got our towels, and then we look over, and this is the room. This is literally it. We've got a clothes hanger, we've got our bed, a little side table, and a little desk with a TV. We've got a little mini fridge, a kettle, hair dryer, just like supplies. This is where we'll stash all of our shit. We have our bathroom. We open this up. Ta da! Shower is super tiny. No one literally gets a concussion every time he goes in there. Like, they're so small. The thing I love about Japan, though, is that the toilet seats are heated. I have every single toilet I've been to in Japan heated, which is so amazing for the cold weather. Show you our view because it's just the best part of the hotel. Open up the window. And, and here she is. 
stunning. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Staying in Shinjuku. I love it here so far. It's so beautiful and there's so much to do. We decided to take the train into Shibuya. That was the most chaotic experience of my life. It's like hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people just in the train station all at once. It's at, what time is it? 6.30. 6.30. Everyone's out, everyone's out. We've come to the Shibuya Scramble Crossing. Let me give you an absolute bird's eye view. Have a walk around this. It's literally a Monday night. <laughs> it's literally a Monday night and it's so fucking busy. I actually cannot believe my eyes. Anyway, we're gonna go across the crossing and we're just gonna look around, probably grab some dinner, see what there is. That's right. We just went and grabbed some dinner. Um, we unintentionally ate liver. And also there were people smoking in the restaurant. I didn't realize how common it was to actually smoke cigarettes like inside and like in restaurants and stores in Japan. Um, so it honestly made me so nauseous that I couldn't even finish my food because just the smell of cigarettes was so nauseating. Like they're sitting next to us smoking cigarettes. So dinner, maybe a six out of ten. Like I've got to keep, got to keep looking out for signs to say no smoking because I couldn't finish my food. The smell is so nauseating that everyone smokes here, which is a really big downside of Japan. Wait, this was 580. Look, there's nothing in there. It's got some matcha ice cream and cornflakes at the absolute bottom. Tastes this thing so much. Mm. 80 though. Bit of a scam, but delicious. In Tokyo, we've just traveled for like an hour, three separate trains, 20 different directions. But we're in, where are we? Shi, Shi Toyosu, I believe. And we're going to Team Labs. I don't know what it is, some kind of indoor activity experience, a museum. Apparently, it's really good, it's super popular. Um, so we're heading there. I don't know if I can film inside, but this is that I'm giving bad each day. My outfit is iconic, it's stylish, so I'm hoping Noah is kind enough to take some photos of me today. Everyone in Japan just dresses so good, they look so good all the time, so I feel like I really need to step up my game, really get on the absolute level. experiences we've ever had. I've ever had personally, what about you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Um, I, that wasn't what I was expecting at all. I thought like samurai fighting, robots, was basically a musical, I would call that. That was a musical. It was really, it was really good, but it was really random. interesting and random. And the storyline, there was none. It didn't make sense, but it was a really good experience. Yeah, we also got a bowl of ramen, a shot of sake, and a shot of matcha. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, it was like $90 per person. Do you feel like we got our money's worth? Yeah, yeah, to be fair, because when you go to a musical, it's like $100. You don't get food as well. So I feel like we definitely got our money's worth. It was really fun. 
Um, but now we're heading to Shibuya. Yeah. We're gonna go. He wants to go to the Pokemon store. So we're gonna go have a look around and then I will probably see you in the morning. I feel like I won't film anything for the rest of the day. And we'll see what tomorrow brings us. Good morning. It is Thursday. I didn't film anything yesterday because. I couldn't be bothered and we really didn't do a lot we just went shopping and we went to the temples which was kind of cool and we got a lot of snacks but today is super fun because we're going to a mini pig cafe that's so exciting and then super random I got approached on the street last night I know by two random girls they're like studying to be hairstylists and they needed models to do their hair to do hair for their exam and they wanted me to do it. So I was like, you know what? YOLO, I'll do it. So I'm going to get my hair done for free tonight by two random girls in Japan. Um, but yeah, she said she wanted to do highlights through my hair, which is what I used to have in my hair. And I still kind of have the highlights down the bottom. So I thought, you know what? What's the worst that could happen? I've been wanting to get my hair done for so long, but it's so expensive. So I thought, let's do it. Let's have a bit of fun, hey? But anyway, those are the plans for today. So let's go. Yeah, I not to exaggerate, but that was the best experience ever. Also, fun fact, I used to own a pig. Well, my family did. We used to literally have a pig. We bought him. He was meant to be a miniature pig, um, but we were lied to, and he ended up getting so massive that we had to give him away to a farm because he wasn't miniature and he physically like could not live in our house because he was a like, full size grown fat ass pig anyway so i love pigs they are just the cutest creatures ever they are so sassy and i love that it was just like the best so if you're coming to japan definitely recommend after that we went and did some shopping i really wanted to get myself a really nice gift while i was here and i wanted some shoes because i know that the shoes are cheaper here than they are in australia because shoes in australia are fucked they're so expensive so i got myself some jordans i love jordans so much i got myself these beautiful suede Jordans look them. What do you actually mean? I love the tick. That's what sold me. I love the contrast between the light brown and the dark brown. The perfect shoe. I do not have a lot of shoes. Like I said, they're really expensive and to be honest, I can't afford the shoes and most of the time it's, just, it's like 3, 3.30 now. My appointment is at 5 so we're just going to walk around the city and then I'm going to get ready for my hair appointment. Look, I should give you guys a before of my hair. This is her. Just fully brown. The tips are like a little bit caramel but everything is just my full natural brown hair colour. So here's absolute before and now we wait for the after. Morning! It is the next morning. When my hair finished it was dark and it was pissing with rain so I'm showing you my hair the next morning. It looks so good. You probably can't tell the difference from you but I'll give you like a side view and a back view. Here's the side. Colour is perfect. The only thing that is maybe not perfect is the blending of the roots. But other than that, I love it. My hair needed a freshen up, but it is so expensive and I couldn't afford it. So I'm so happy that I got that opportunity and my hair looks amazing. I literally love it. But today on the list of things to do, we are going to the fish markets this morning. I don't even really love fish, but Noah really wants to go. So we're going to head there, maybe get a few snacks, see what it's like. We just, we've heard a lot about it. So we kind of just want to suss it out. And then we'll probably just go shopping for the rest of the day. But yeah, it's 7am now. Got to go to 7-Eleven, get some breakfast, and then head to the fish markets. Okay, so we got some goodies, so we're gonna do an absolute taste test. Starting off with <laughs> smells fishy. <laughs> I 
Let's have a little bit. We are getting ready to go to Harry Potter Studios. I'm so excited. I didn't think that we could film, but it turns out we actually can. So I'm going to try and film a whole bunch of bits and bobs for you and put it all together. I'm so excited. I'm literally the biggest Harry Potter nerd fan. I love it. I have for years. So when I found out they had a studio, who best believe I was going. But yeah, that's like literally what we have planned today. It's quite a big exhibition I guess like goes for quite a long time so we're going to be there for basically the whole day um I'm bro, I'm so excited We are back from Harry Potter World. Not to exaggerate, but that was literally one of the best experiences ever. We got a few things from the gift shop, so I'm going to show you what we got. We got this Butterbeer cup. We actually got Butterbeer in these little cups, and we got to keep the cup. So I got one for myself, and then I sculled another one down for my sister as well. They're just super cute. And for my sister and I, I got these chocolate frogs. Naturally, they're so iconic, so I had to get one for myself and my sister. Dad, I got this massive, I want to call it a beer glass. It basically looks the exact same as this, just glass version and larger. And then my boyfriend got his little sister a Hermione Granger wand with her name engraved on it. It's really cute. I'm not going to open it because it's nicely packaged, but super cute. <laughs> 